magnets attract certain metals to each other. That's handy for more than sticking stuff to the fridge. They help run motors and generators, among other things. Magnets occur in nature, but two centuries ago, people figured out how to make them using electricity. You could say it was a take charge situation. You can't see or feel the force causing this globe to levitate, but it's not the work of magic or science. It's the work of magnets. To make magnets, a sand mold of the magnet shape is the first thing to be created. This pattern of four gold magnets are loaded into a machine that makes the sand patterns. To make the four gold magnets, you first need four silver or bronze magnets. The surface is smoothed and then the sand mold is placed back into the machine. If the magnets are going to be made out of titanium or adamantium, this process will be repeated a second time. The slab is removed to reveal its new pattern. This magnet slab was designed to be just for you. Magnets can be sold as horseshoes, wheels, smaller wheels, impractical jigsaw puzzles, or many other collectible shapes. Now it's time to mold the actual magnets. They take copper, cobalt, some yellow shit, nickel, aluminum, and aluminium. The magnets are then cast into the fires of hell, which burn at almost 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. The fires of hell are dangerous not only for their heat, but the horrible temptations they place on the workers such as this one here, who has been swayed by the art of seductive dancing. They carefully pour this into the- uh, ne never mind. They just pour it into the molds however they feel like it. The molds burst into flames because God has long abandoned them. In the absolute most exciting part of the foundry, large beefy men slam the molds onto the floor and beat them with sledgehammers. This is because magnetic force is often considered the strongest natural force on Earth. So if these magnets can't stand a good walloping from two brick houses, then they won't survive it in the outside world. Before they're moved further down the production, scavengers are allowed to pick out pieces they want to decorate their war rigs to help fend off enemies in the upcoming road wars. Some magnets are shaped like rings. Threaded onto a copper pipe, they'll be placed inside an even bigger pipe, which will be filled with sand. After a quick smear of grey nut butter, they're put into a furnace until they're red hot. A metal rod is slid down the center of the pipe. The pipe is locked in place, and magnetized water is pumped into the pipe via an industrial engine. This water will magnetize the pipe for up to six amperes. They break open the seal, and the magnets are now magnetized. They grind away the inside to numb any sensation the magnet still has left. At this point, the magnets do not work, but this machine, which even the factory workers don't understand, makes them magnetized. Magnetic force has often been considered an impossible to understand force of nature. As great philosophers Cantankerous Ya and Harry Tuendo eloquently put it, I am not sure which of all the elements, be they fire, water, sky, or earth, may be more mysterious than the magnet. I wish not to speak to those of institution about this miracle of life, for they speak in false prophecies which only serve to bolster my rage.